based on the principle of last in first out now suppose have a bottle in that you can enter just a single pebble every time so it is a narrow bottle right so now first when you enter one pebble it will go at the bottom second it will be at the top of that after that it will be again on the top now if you want to remove the last pebble then you need to first empty all other pebbles which are there then you will need to remove all the pebbles one by one then the one which you entered last will come out first right suppose if there are five pebbles you want to say last one then we need to remove the first one at the top then that top pebble will have always been entered that last so that is based on the principle of last in first out that is the one who enters last will come out first correct now what is stack stack is similar to that bottle that bottle is a stack and all the different memory allocation like suppose if there numbers comes then that numbers act as a pebble right suppose here the always top will be minus 1 what is top equal to minus 1 that is what is the top pebble like suppose there are five pebbles which are numbered from 1 2 3 4 5 then the number 5 which is at the top will be allocated over here right suppose just now there are no uh, pebbles over here so we will write top equal to minus 1 now suppose first pebble that is first number or the first task enter over here now what when i say task what is it it is based on the memory management we will study in the further video now top equal to minus 1 now as soon as something enters top will change to plus 1 top will increase to plus 1 and stack of 0 now it is same as least for array in the array you will always find it as top a zero that is the first position suppose the second element enters the stack that is the bottle then the array will have the index value of 1 as the index starts from zero so the second element enters and the value is 2 so the index 1 is assigned the value 2 and what is the top value now that is 1 that is the index number whatever is the index is the top right now suppose the third element enters when the third element enters the index number increases by 1 that is 2 so who is on the top the index number 2 is at the top so the top value changes to 2 now when we try to pop what is pop pop means to remove the element now when we remove that element again the top will reduce to 1 that is this will get reduced to 2 okay so the index number will be 1 right what are the applications expression of the evaluation we will study about this in the later video in which we will try to convert infix to postfix infix to prefix postfix to infix as well as prefix to infix as well as it is used in backtracking what is backtracking now suppose if i tell someone go left go right and go ahead that is left right ahead now at that point he is at the stack number then now three commands left right ahead now if we arrange this in the form of a stack first it will go left second right and then ahead so first if we want to remove from the top it will be ahead then it will be right and then it will be left so how we can backtrack what were the commands first was left then it came last that is the backtracking process that will be helpful by the step memory management it is also used in the memory management but it is not uh, you can say very much good in terms of memory management suppose if there are three right and if one by one all the commands are executed now if one command is in the infinite loop then no other commands will be executed that's why it's not preferable to use this type of memory management
what is the code now i will not write the code but instead i will explain each and every line so that you can understand in a easier way okay so what is the maximum size we have given of we have given is 8 what is the stack length we have given that also as 8 what is top top equal to minus 1 we have listed about if top equal to minus 1 that is empty stack so we have defined here an empty stack it is nothing it is just the variable we have just defined it as top equal to minus 1 now we have defined a few functions integer empty full peak pop right and push functions we have defined this much now what will happen suppose if we are calling the push function i will explain all the functions step by step don't worry about it now if we are calling push function and push 3 what is push function whatever we are pushing inside the suppose we have a bottle we want to push an element inside it then we are calling a function to do that element do that task sorry okay now when we are calling a push function inside that we are taking that data whatever we want to push inside now we will check whether the stack is empty if yes then it will not go inside here what is the condition is not full is full and this is the symbol of not so it should not be full right so now we are calling the function is full what is it yes if top is equals to is equals to max size we have defined max size right max size is equals to 8 yes and the stack size also should be not more than 8 so what we have told here is that if our top that is the maximum value where whatever is the maximum index number and whatever is the maximum size if both are equal then what should be written what that means we cannot push anything we cannot put if the bottle is full we anyone can fill it no it's not permissible right so we will return one now if we return one then if not full that means it it will convert to zero not full so it will not go inside and it will go to the else part and it will try to write print could not ensure data stack is full but now as the top is equals to is equals to minus 1 in our case right so it's not equal to max size correct so it will return zero okay. it will return zero and so is full will return zero and not will return one that means it will go inside this now the top value will be updated first we need to update the top value so what will be the top value it will be top plus 1 that is in this case it will be index number 0 from minus 1 to first index in the array it will go right in the first index yes so it will go inside the first index that is zeroth index whatever is the first index is 0 right now top value is now changed to 0 first we have to update the value of top and after that only we have to add the data why because at that current top position there might be an element or it might be null so we have to update that value we have to go up after that only we can check understood yes so now stack of top this is the at stack is suppose it's an array here suppose it's a array in the zeroth index now top value we have got is top equal to 0 from minus 1 it was minus 1 now it's 0 so what will be stored in this array at zeroth index it will store the data what is the data in our case it is 3 great now push 5 again it will go it will check this condition it will check so it will call this function is the top equal to equal to max size our top is top's value is 0 and max size is 8 so 0 is not equal to 8 that's why it will return 0 okay so it's full no so is full will return 0 and not that means it will it is not satisfying that condition that is 1 and if 1 here you know 1 represents that it the condition is satisfied so if 0 and not means 
it will again do the not of it so zeros not is one again it will change the tops value now top value was zero it will change to one it is not empty so it will be permissible so now what will be stored at the index one index one will store five index one will store five yes we can see over here index one will store five zero index three index one is five similarly for nine so now the top value will change to two as it is not full it will again store nine over here it is index two similarly for one as it is index number three it is not maximum size equal to eight it's not there so is full will return zero again not so it will return one i am repeating same thing so it goes inside your mind and you will be able to catch up the thing easily now if we enter 12 12 okay what will be the index number it will be four you should be with me you should be live with me so that you can give the answers before me i am waiting for your answer that's why i am repeating two times right now if we are pushing element 15 we are pushing element 15 okay so it will be 15 right so it will be at the position 5 yes so 0 1 2 3 4 5 till now the elements are not full great now what will happen is this is the stack we have done this many elements we have entered now suppose 0 1 2 3 4 5 now suppose if i enter suppose if i give more push commands more push commands like i enter 5, 7 8 9 so at that time top value will be 6 7 8 but this will be allowed the last time okay so after that if i call anything and and try to enter 10 it will not allow me to do why because now the top position is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so top position is 8 after entering 9 because first we increase the number and at that time we add right suppose if we add at top equal to 8 it will allow me to do why because when we checked this condition it was top equal to 7 after that we increased to 1 and now the top value is 8 so it will allow for one time because we entered inside this loop inside this condition now when we again try to push some data suppose 10 then is full will return what let's check it yeah top value is currently 8 which is equal to max size so it will return 1 right if it return 1 and if it is not that means it will get converted to 0 so it will be inside the print else condition could not insert data stack is full that means the maximum how many elements 9 elements that means 8 indexes can only be stored 8 index 9 elements right now suppose we want to pop the data pop the data means we want to print the data so whatever it comes at the last okay what will be the order of coming out it will be 9 8 7 15 12 1 9 5 and 3 it will be from back to first that is last in first out condition will apply now we are calling suppose is empty we want to check if the now we want to print the complete stack right so we will check whether the stack is empty now suppose if the stack is empty right at that time we cannot pop anything we cannot print anything why because the stack is empty it has nothing to print no elements inside it so we will check for is empty so what will be the is empty conditions can you uh, imagine yes it will be top equal to minus one suppose if top equal to minus one then it will be empty let's check what is written yes see data is equals to stack top right what is at the top value it is the stack top now top equal to top minus one this is the condition sorry i well yeah integer is empty function right here what we will check if top equal to equal to minus one what i told top must be equal to minus one then return one that means is empty yes in yes in coding we write mostly one else return zero so here what it will return 
for the first time how many elements are there for us currently we wrote suppose eight element nine elements eight indexes for eight nine times it will return one is empty no is empty no while but here it is no right here it will return no that is zero but we are doing not of it not of is is one so while one so it will go inside this integer data pop we are calling the function pop what is pop it will call the last data it will call the last data see here also we have checked if not empty data is equals to stack of top what we have done stack of top top is the index number suppose here we are having index number 8 and data of 8 stack of 8 what is stack of 8 it is 9 stack of 8 8 is the index number here we are writing 8 then it will call the function of last index 9 value 9 right so here what will be the value of let's go where it went yes data what will be the value of data it will be stack of top that is the value 9 now we are decreasing top why because we want to remove that element and if we are removing the top will come down exactly and we are returning the data first we have to retrieve the data then we have to decrease the top otherwise what will happen if we decrease the number then that number will not be considered we will not be able to fetch the data because we have already come down and that data value is not with us how to retrieve that value we will not be able to do so in this case first we will retrieve the data after that we will decrease the value of top right so it will print again it will check for the condition what condition like we have decreased the top value again the top value is now 7 again 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 till 0 it will work but now the value comes to minus 1 so minus 1 is empty condition will not satisfy is empty yes so it will return 1 and once not is where we went yes once not is 0 so it will not go inside this function and it will come out and here stack full is full condition here we are checking is full yeah here is full where it went where it went yes uh, if top equal to equal to max size now here in this case we have post queue data we have pop queue data that means we don't have any data so it will return zero why because our top value is now minus one and max size is eight correct yes is empty yes it is empty why it's empty because we have already popped all the data and by popping we are decreasing the top value my like from eight seven six five four three up to zero and after that we are closing our program this is all for the step just a simple short trick if you are entering any data first increase the top value then enter the data if you are popping anything first of all retrieve the data and then decrease the top value it's the reverse process first increase top value enter data first and fetch the data then decrease the top value and that's all for the stack thank you so much for watching this video